shelter turned out to be less than waterproof and my tent which has also lost its waterproof qualities is also completely saturated and so while i set up camp on dry dung the base of my tent is now completely saturated in wet cow shit but the sun's coming up and it looks like a beautiful day morning <laughs> everything's drying out pretty rapidly and you can even see the snow it's gorgeous the museum I'm continuing the drying out process while simultaneously charging my phone and eating half a gatta for breakfast Incredibly, for the regular ticket entry price, Arda gave me a guided tour of the Yekagnadzor Museum I'm not saying either of those words right We make it from wood, from clay or even from leather and we fill it with milk and start to sway or shake Okay and becomes a button. It smells amazing in here. Schnorrethalusian! Delicious, thank you! It often feels in Armenia that every single car is either a Lada or a Mercedes. I've been invited for coffee. Schnorrethalusian! Schnorrethalusian! Merci! Merci! It's easier to say merci, but I try. <laughs> Armenian foods on a budget. This is spas soup, which is yogurt based. Yeah, that tastes so warm, watery yogurt. But it's an Armenian tradition, and I'm happy to try it. Yeah, that was a bit unfair because underneath there's bulgar wheat, and it's actually fairly nice once you get used to the strange sensation of more watery yogurt. Bad news online today, the UK has increased its travel warning for Iran to its highest level. Advise against all travel because of the arbitrary detention of European nationals. Fortunately, I am Australian and exclusively Australian for the purposes of visiting Iran, but it is a little bit nerve wracking. I know the people in Iran will be fantastic. It's the authority that might present some issues. A similar thing happened right before I went to Lebanon and same level of travel warning and I was fine there for the most part apart from that area in the northeast with the gunfire otherwise I felt perfectly secure and I'm sure I will in Iran right <laughs> Definitely worth it. My gosh! It's so cold. And I've pinned quite a lot of hope on this church being open. Oh, a camping car. It's open. And tiny. <laughs> Just had really nice chats and coffee with the Swiss family in the camp car though and um, checked with them they wouldn't be offended if I camped in the church there's been nobody else about so I'm going to tuck myself in here and then it's supposed to be minus three tonight so hopefully it will stay above zero inside my little church here. Yeah. 